Here and around the country, over in Ireland, looks like it's happening right now. CBS 2's Jackie Kostek live at the Irish Heritage Center for a look at all the fun planned today. Hey, Jackie. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan and Audrina, good morning to you. We've got the dancing going, we've got the food spread out here, and I've got uh, Tony McHale from the Irish American Heritage Center with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, how are you this morning? Well, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. It is bright and early, but they're bringing the energy they're if ready. we're not. They're ready to go. So they're going to be here all day. I'm, hopefully there's shifts because I'm going to bed. I know. <laughs> hopefully there are shifts. We're definitely going to need naps after this. Tony, talk about all of the exciting events you have going on today. I know a lot of bands and a lot of fun. Yeah, so we, we open at 3 o'clock today. We have bands all day from 3 to 11. The pub is open all day. Um, we'll have food. We'll have Guinness. We'll have harp. I think there might be water somewhere if you really need it. Um, obviously, we'll have the Trinity Irish Dancers here. Um, the world famous Shannon Irish Rovers are coming at 415. So it's going to be a great day to come. We had 3,000 people on Saturday. We're looking for another 1,500 today. So come on down. I was going to say, Tony, this has been an extraordinarily long week of fun for you guys, right? Crazy. It's been crazy. Our executive director, Meg Buchanan, has been here almost 24-7. So, um, but it's, it's our, you know, it's, it's the time we want to shine. It's the time we want to show off the Heritage Center. And if you're not Irish, if you're Irish, come on down. Um, and it's just a great place to be for this week. For folks who don't know, or maybe just have forgotten the story about St. Patrick's Day, what is this day really all about? Well, it, it started in Ireland as a religious holiday. And with the famine in 1845 and the immigration of the Irish people, it came to the United States. The Chicago parade, as we know it today, started under the first Mayor Daly. In, um, in the 60s, and it's just continued to grow. And as you said, it's now it's become a week-long celebration from the parade on Saturday to whenever St. Patrick's Day is that following week, so. And Tony, what's not to like about Irish culture? Because look at the food we we've got, got, we got this morning. We got the stones, we got the soda bread, <laughs> all homemade by some of our members. Um, and we sell it in our gift shop if you want to come down and get it. Um, we'll have corned beef later, which is a, a very American Irish tradition. <laughs> um, but yeah, anything you want, you know, great baked goods, corned beef, a little bit of cabbage. We're, and a lot of beer, right? A lot of beer. We'll, we'll meet all, we'll meet all your, your food group needs, whatever they are. And the dancers, which just adds the most fun cultural element. We are going to be talking to the, the Trinity Irish dancers all morning long, but what do they bring to the table? Um, just, you can see the, the energy and the excitement. Um, and they, they bring the young people to our center. They give lessons here um, throughout the year. So if you're interested in learning, they'll yes. give adult lessons. Uh, yes. they'll, they'll give adult lessons too. I think we might do that later for you. Um, but yeah, they're what brings the new members in, brings the kids in. Um, you can see the excitement. Um, and they're world champions. I mean, they, they go to Ireland every year and come back with medals and trophies. Um, and it just helps with the, the branding and the recognition we get here at the Irish American Heritage Center. Tony, thank you so much for coming thank out you. so early this morning, showing off all of the goods, the baked goods, the dancing, all of it. Only world champions could bring this level of energy at 5 o'clock in the morning. Ryan and Audrina, a lot of fun coming from the Irish American Heritage Center all morning long. Back to you. <laughs> we need that energy from those dancers, right? Oh, yeah. Bring it over here, <laughs> Jackie. I, love I know. How, we I love do. How he's like, no, I'm going to sleep, though. I want to go to bed. The, the kids <laughs> can have it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, exactly. That's how we're all feeling this morning. But you know what? We're going to rise and shine the rest of the morning. That's for sure. <laughs>